Right, hey, tell you there, champs, and yes, can you believe it? One month of the XPS 15. And I've just been thinking, is this the best 15 inch laptop? And I think so. Let me explain why. And I've been wondering, should I pull the trigger on, you know, the 8 core one, which the prices have come down on the new XPS 15? Check out the link in the description for the latest prices. I want to see what the XPS 17 is like. And by the way, should have it here next week. I am so excited for that XPS 17. And then I'll make my final decision which one's better out of these two. Well, at least for me. And can you believe? Yes, it comes in white now. Wolf. But in terms of 15 inch laptops, how do I feel about the XPS 15 one month later? Is it the best 15 inch laptop or is it the best laptop released this year? And I reckon it definitely has claims to both of those things. I mean, have a look at it. There is nothing like this. I've shown this picture many times before, but you can see how compact the size of that there is no other laptop on the market especially even 15 inch laptops that even comes close to this they're worlds apart the size of this laptop is basically the size of that display that's the footprint of it and in 2015 dell released infinity edge and it took like up to 2018 before other manufacturers sort of look like the dell did in 2015 really it did take that long and if you look at the xps now there's definitely nothing coming coming out this year that's even going to look like this barring whatever Apple do with Apple Silicon, whether they're, you know, reducing bezels, etc. But there's definitely no Windows laptop coming out that looks like these two laptops, XPS 15, XPS 17. And honestly, I doubt there will be next year either. I think it's going to take another couple of years for other manufacturers to, you know, get to the level of where this XPS 15 is design-wise. And that's the thing, right? If you look at like lots of laptops, they all share similar components. And let's face it, you know, the updates in terms of ninth generation versus 10th generation and even like, you know, NVIDIA's updates on graphics, you know, they're not really exciting, are they? They're, you know, incremental upgrades. The real excitement was the G14, right? AMD stuff and also the graphics card that goes in the MacBook Pro 16. That 5600 is just amazing. That 50 watt GPU. I think it's the best GPU in the market if you just, you know, it's over 2060 performance and it's in 50 watts. So NVIDIA will take at least 65 watts to even match it. And it was even matching 90 watt GPUs in certain situations. So that's where the exciting stuff is with the AMD, the MacBook Pro with the new graphics, the G14. But if we're talking Intel and NVIDIA land, well, only the XPS, right? And even if you compare it to all the new stuff from AMD and even the MacBook Pro, nothing looks like the XPS 15. That's why I say you can buy the future now because in a couple of years time, most laptops will look like this. But if you want it now, XPS is your only option. It's super sexy. So if I'm going to talk about the points that I had against it or the cons with the trackpad and maybe the power limiting, they were the only two cons from the XPS 15. So at the end of the day, I do think the XPS 15 is the best 15 inch laptop or one of the best laptops of the year. Now, maybe with the G14 giving it a run and remember the MacBook Pro is a 2019 and of course the 17 will come into that argument as well. As I said before with the G14. Now the G14 is great value, it does look nice, but it doesn't look like the XPS 15, let's be honest here. And yes, the AMD is killer, if you want compute, AMD is just killing it. I would actually love to see an XPS 15 with Ryzen CPUs and the graphics card from the MacBook Pro, that'd be nice. Well, Apple are going to drop that graphics card, why not pick it up? There's an idea for you. But actually Thunderbolt 4, the problem will be that that security protocol is an Intel sort of exclusive. So maybe they won't do that. You know, we've heard about Thunderbolt on AMD systems. It still hasn't come to fruition yet, has it? So until I see it, I don't believe it. So what else can you compare to the XPS 15? The X1 Carbon? Well, that's an aging sort of design. It's not 16 by 10. And that's what separates the XPS 15, you know, along with the MacBook Pro. 16 by 10 makes it a content creation machine, separates it from the gaming laptops. All right, you have the Razer that has the design, but the battery life isn't good, right? 16 by 9, 
you have the Aero that has the performance. It has better performance. It has a better GPU than the XPS 15. But ergonomics, design isn't that great. Battery life isn't as good either. Uh, actually, it's a closer run thing now that the XPS 15 has slightly less battery life than the old one. And yes, by the way, the old one, new one. I have a video on that, so check that out. You may want to buy the old one because you're going to pick that up on the deal. I mean the old XPS 15. I'll leave a link in the description to a video that explains the differences. Because if you're on OLED, you're going to have to go to the old one. And the performance, really, there isn't that much difference. Just to give you an idea of the difference in performance, the old XPS 15, you're going to play games around medium setting, 60 frames per second, 1080p. The new one with the 1650 Ti, which is a nice boost in graphics, it's going to be sort of high settings, 60 frames per second, 1080p. So that's the sort of difference there. In terms of video editing and stuff like that, really, Intel and NVIDIA parts, they're not really leaps and bounds forward than what they were last year. So that's why I like the MacBook Pro with that exciting graphics that goes into that, that 16 inch. That's good. And that's why I like the Ryzen CPUs because that's something new and exciting. So anyway, am I going to pull the trigger on the 8 core XPS 15? Well, wait for my XPS 17 review, which will be coming out. Can't wait for that. And hopefully with the future BIOS, we're going to get some more power out of the XPS 15. At least give us 40, 40, give us a total, you know, 80 watts sort of power. It can do more than that. Probably can do about 90 watts. But anyway, the XPS 15, definitely the best 15 inch laptop you're going to buy. And we'll have to wait and see what Apple do at the end of the year. But um, it just may be the laptop of the year. And yeah, it's going to take years for the competition to catch up. Maybe with the exception of Apple, because, you know, once they move to Apple Silicon, I expect things to get smaller, thinner, lighter. But anyway, after one month, with a lot of reflection, that's my sort of stance on that XPS 15. It's the best 15-inch laptop. But will the 16-inch MacBook Pro and XPS 17 be better? Wow. Find out very soon. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally. Oh.